Hi guys, congratulations on the movie. I really enjoyed watching it. It was so fun. You captured the Filipino spirit. So Dante, so what was your inspiration in doing this movie? The family, really. At the end of the day, it was the family and the brothers and um, and really representing for, you know, Filipinos. That was that was ultimately the the, the original inspiration. Mm -hmm. How was collaborating with your brother, Darion? It was amazing. I mean, in, in many ways, this movie, we were, it, it, it was our, our whole lives coming to this movie. Like, we were, like this film, it was such a, I mean, we've done other projects together, obviously, like, you know, but this one was very special because of everybody involved. Not, it's Dante's directorial debut, but all of our siblings and my parents as well. So it was, it was such a special thing and, and uh, kind of like a once in a lifetime type of experience. So is this also your first uh, feature feature uh, for both of you as a screenwriter? Um, no, no, I've, I've written a few. I've written a few films. A few, I mean, this is the first one that, that I think I've been produced, but yeah. yeah. Done okay. How was it working with your family? Were there any challenges? Um, Really, this particular one was just amazing. It was an amazing adventure. I mean, of course, there's challenges because we, you know we know each other so well. But all those, also those were the strengths of how we shot the film and and coming together to do it. But it was, you know, when people think about dream projects and whatnot, this is really, this is really a, one of those dream projects. Mm -hmm. And and about you, Darian, how was it cha uh, challenging for you to also film with your family? Um, no, actually, this one was not. It was. It was like I said. It was just a joy. It was. Um, we know each other so well. So Dante had a very good shorthand with all of us as actors, and then as writers, Dante and I were able to really craft stuff for each of our brothers and my sister. And then working with my parents was was wild and a, a crazy, crazy experience that was super emotional and rewarding to 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 have them on set with us all the time and and. and for Dante to be directing them and us writing for them. That, it was just kind of crazy and, and strange, but at the same time, just so beautiful. Oh, it's great. How, how, how did you do the division of the, of the roles for the four brothers? Um, well, we did, when we developed it, we kind of knew what we were doing, what, what stories we were leaning on, what um, the characters were gonna be. And then me and Darian kind of, after we sold the project, to signal entertainment in the Philippines, we, we banged out the first script in about three weeks. Yeah. And then that was really, we, we kind of knew. I mean, again, this is one of those projects that have been talked about for Talked years. about and developed for years. Us, like, so we, it was, a, we already had the blueprint down for, for a long time. And uh, tell me about your experience filming in Manila. Amazing. Filming in Manila was, was a dream. It was very important for me to have one of the segments in Manila. And, um, and it was happened to be my storyline, but also I wanted to really comment about going back home because I started going back home about maybe you know close to 15 years ago, consistently going home 14 times just to set up this project um, with my producing partner Ron Erickson. So essentially, just this this you know it's magical and beautiful, and I wanted to show our homeland in that light and how it has impacted me and how it felt to be a Phil Lamb going to going back to home and being welcomed to a place that's kind of foreign, but also feels so at home at times. So there's, there's little things in there, even though that's, that's not the, 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 the main premise of that storyline. I feel like, I hope it's like a little, some little message to all the Phil Lambs that they, they consider going back home and reconnecting. And casting the three ladies, uh, Lisa Lapira, Crystal Kwan and Solan Kusak. Can you talk about how you chose these ladies? Yeah, as well as Cheryl Sai, who plays Officer Derek. Right, exactly. Who's um, Chinoy? She's she's she she's Chinoy. she's Chinese, but she's actually Chinese Filipino. Right, right, right. So Solen, we got Solen. Is was it originally through Signal that they suggested it, or was it something that that? But also through Matt, through our friend Mads Humphreys, Matt, uh, Carla Humphreys Carla. suggested her, and they're all it's all friends and friends. You know, the Philippines is Zapistas. Are, Everyone's friends, especially the yeah. people I know there. And goes from like working with Rian, Rian Ramos and working with Jericho Rosales. And, and it's, you know, it's 
it's the artista scene in the Philippines. Um, we knew we wanted one of the, the, the big stars, starring one with Ann Curtis in another film. Yeah. And so we really love the talent out there. And we're so, so fortunate. And I feel very fortunate for Solen to come and do this film with us. Crystal is a, a longtime friend of ours a colleague and so that scene with Dionisio is something that's somewhat legendary yeah, within they our circles so she so had to do it so in different ways but so we brought that on Lisa LaPera was really Lisa a Lapera new was kind of like by chance the, the crazy thing about Lisa LaPera who's brilliant and we're lucky to have her is her agent is his son is on the baseball team of of Derek and Emily the, our oldest brother they're, they're teammates on a baseball team, their sons. So they would talk to each other and her agent and, and Derek and Emily, and she was like, I have this client, Lisa, she's Filipino. She wants to do more Filipino stuff. And then we happened to be developing this project and we were like, okay, well, we should, we should try to get Lisa right. if we can. Of course. So then it kind of worked out by coincidence, by, by chance, it kind of worked out, which was a lot of A lot of good luck chances on this film, for sure. Was there a lot of spontaneous, extemporaneous scenes there? No, actually not. You know, the crazy thing is like, we wrote most of that. We wrote, yeah, all, we wrote we all of that. To, like we, we, we had to, cause we didn't, it was pretty small budget. So we knew we had to have it pretty much on the page, you know? But that being said, like once we, once it went, yeah, we were able to be free in it, but we stuck to a lot of stuff that was right. on the page. And we were writing, me and Dar wrote, but we also brought Dean and Isio in to, to do some rewrites and, and our sister Ariana to do some rewrites. And so a lot of the extraneous and the fun stuff was kind of in the writing process about what's yes, in, what's yes, out, yes. you know. So, so we, we had to kind of like do that experimentation before actually in the writing process. Set because we knew Once we got on set, set, we got to go. We to do it to get it. Was there anybody in the family who said, no, I don't want to be in the film? No, surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, no. Even a lot of the people in the, in the shots and in, in the, our, our, our extended family and family, beyond just the parents, they all were happy to be in the film as well. It was, it was great. So uh, how long did it take to do the film, all in all? We shot it in 16 days mm, over gosh. maybe six weeks in two countries, Manila and Pittsburgh, wow. San Francisco area. So it was pretty ambitious, especially for a first time filmmaker and, and an independent uh, film budget. But we, uh, we, we pulled it off barely by the skin of our teeth. Was there a point in the filming that you said, oh, this cannot happen or you're getting frustrated? Uh, there's only one day. There's only one, one day. day. Out of all the shooting, there's one day that was very was trying. Close to the end of the shoot. Close to the end of the shoot. And it was, a, it was our longest day. We're shooting 13 pages in one day, which is, you know, on average, you know, a lot of people shoot, you know, big budget films can shoot one, two pages a day. Indie films are shooting, you know, five to eight pages. We were shooting 13 pages in one day. So much. And so... There was a moment in, in that day we, we thought we weren't going to make it, but we, we got through it. We somehow got through it. <laughs> what does this movie mean to you? Having a Filipino movie by Filipino filmmakers, a Filipino actors mean in Hollywood, having, you know, your representation in Hollywood. I mean, it means a lot. You know, we're in a very pioneering time for Asians in, in Hollywood. The highest profile we've been in the history of Hollywood. And I really wanted to have our Filipino stories is part of this movement going on right now. And so to put four Filipino leading men out there in the world, all holding their own, being delineated very different, even though they're brothers, was really important to me. And I really wanted to show Hollywood and the world what, what these guys could do, what I could do on film. And I think we accomplished that. I think when you watch this movie, I don't think anyone's ever seen any Filipinos on screen like this ever in Hollywood or in the Philippines. Like you've never seen characters like this, Filipino characters like this ever. And so, um, yeah, I can't wait to see how people yeah, kind of think about I mean, it. It was, it was so important to us that we put the Filipino right into the title as well. I mean, that was important to us to have it right up there in front. Like, this is who we are, this is us. We're just gonna let you see us laws and all but this is who we are as filipino americans in this country it's very specific to us but being very specific to us and our family it's we're a very filipino american family so so it, it's i feel it's a good representation of, of that you know? 
So both of you are really spreading your wings and being real filmmakers and writers. So do you see yourself creating more projects like this? Yes. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot more projects we have: film, television. Um, it's a slate of things. So we look forward. Hopefully, we can make this the the, the biggest success we can and have some impact. Have impact. And yeah. hopefully, yes. that will open the doors for us to produce more things in the future. Sure. And uh, any other film festivals you're planning to join? Festivals, not anymore with this. But particularly, we are still ourselves bringing it around to different film communities around the country. We're gonna be on the East Coast later this month to a few dates in Philly, New York, and uh, DC area, Virginia Beach. And on February February 8th, our release date here for everyone to download the film in North America, um, we are having a big uh, screening that's already sold out, sold out nearly instantly here in Los Angeles. So uh, it's, we're, 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 we did a year of, of festivals and now we're, you know, we're really urging, it's time for commerce. You know, part of the success of this film is the success of this film, the impact of this film. I'm trying to get 100,000 people here to, to download the film and to really let Hollywood know that our stories are, are meaningful and are marketable and there's an audience and, we, and there's space and, to make more of these stories. And so that's really the goal right now. Hopefully, we can start the fire within the Filipino community, and hopefully, we can go viral outside the community and beyond. Congratulations, and I wish you more luck. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Jen. Thank Salam you very much, guys.